Wolves and livestock don't mix. We need wolves outside of Yellowstone National Park. I understand that there's a role for the top predator in any ecosystem. When the killings occurred, we were upset. We were really angry. We'd like to be able to work with this pack because if they learn our ways and we learn their ways, we can coexist. How can we have the rancher and the wolves together? That's the part that we need to get figured out, all right? That's the tough one. Major funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Additional funding was provided by the Montana Committee for the Humanities and the Greater Montana Foundation. This is a story about wolves and the men and women who live in the last remnants of the Old West. It's the tale of an old battle and a new beginning, brought on by a bold wildlife experiment that restored the gray wolf to parts of its native range. I see the black one here. Okay, there's three up ahead. See them in the opening up there? Given the mythology of wolves, the stories of wolves, the culture of animosity that it goes back not hundreds but thousands of years, uh, I would say that wolves are one of the most controversial wildlife species in the world. Well, collaring is uh, the most important thing the Wolf Project does all year because without collars, we, we can't do anything. We need marked wolves to count wolves, to study wolves. Through history, they've been a symbol of something else. And that's something that is interpreted differently by the person. Um, to some, wolves symbolize waste and destruction and, and killing. To others, they symbolize wilderness and a healthy ecosystem. And wolves just want to be wolves. The pup was, what, 24 something? Yeah. OK, lower right is. 